Facing the fall, Clay County Schools now reporting how many students and staff have COVID-19. A dozen were diagnosed in the past week. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean is joining us live from Oakleaf High School. Joe, we also know more than 100 students are in quarantine. We learned that today, Tom, from a dashboard that the district published, and they said they're going to be updating these numbers every Monday. So we get weekly updates from the Clay County School District uh, on uh, this online dashboard. Now, this includes the number of those who tested positive for COVID-19 and the number of those in quarantine. The list, is, as you can see, is separated from students and employees. And you can see this week's report shows six students and six employees tested positive for COVID-19. Those numbers are, are as of last week. Also, 136 students and 29 staff are now under quarantine, and that is within the school district. Now, for perspective, that's less than 1% of the uh, personnel in the Clay County Public Schools. Clay County's health department does the contact tracing for the district and notifies families or employees if they've been exposed. The health department here actually has access to the school district's seating chart. They know where everyone's sitting in every classroom. They have access to the school's online portal, so when they're doing contract tracing if there's a positive case they can go and see who's sitting near that student or who's in the classroom uh, and that's how they do that contact tracing but the district says a positive case in an elementary school classroom can lead to up to 10 others being asked to quarantine now for secondary students one positive case could prompt more than 30 others to be asked to quarantine. That's because students in those upper grade levels, they interact with different classrooms, different groups, uh, a lot more than elementary students, uh, school students. Here's a look at uh, the total number of positive cases uh, among students and staff in other area districts. Duval has 51. St. John's, the latest number is uh, 29. Alachua, 28. Clay, of course, as we said, 12 positive cases as of last week, and Nassau has nine. The percentage of positivity in these districts are very low, in the low single digits, but those are just the ones that are being reported. For instance, here in Clay County, we're told uh, the numbers on its dashboard are not uh, verified, ver they're not validated by the health department, meaning this is a self-reporting system. Reporting live in Clay County, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.